In today's video, I'm going to break down how I set my goals up in Notion. So I have vision goals, annual goals, and then I have quarterly targets. And as always, I've included a free template for you to follow along. So if you would like access to that and all of the templates that I'm sharing in the month of December, just follow the link in the description and sign up to my newsletter. Now, one big difference with today's template is I'm actually giving away the databases. Up until this point, I've tried to keep it simple we've got prompts in there but today you're getting access to those databases and you'll be able to use them in the other templates that I've given away as well. So let's head on over to the computer and I'll walk you through exactly how it's all set up, how you can use it, how you can customize it and how you can implement it with the other templates that I've shared throughout Vlogmas already. Okay, so here we are in the goal setting template that I will be giving away today. The link is in the description and you'll see here I've broken it down into vision goals, annual goals, quarterly targets, and then I've included a scorecard here as well. So up until this point in Vlogmas, I haven't really shared any databases. Now we're getting into those. So as you fill these in, I'm going to show you how this template works. And then I'm also going to show you how you can add linked views of these databases into the other templates that you've got. So if you're doing an annual review, for example, I'll show you how you can embed this scorecard in your annual review. So if we come up to the top here, you'll see there's written instructions with each goal, but we're just gonna do an overview of our vision goals. And then you'll see here, I've got some examples here. If you want to delete any, just hover over, click the six dots, hit delete and you to add a new one, all you're gonna do is hit new here, or you can come down here and you can use the template that I've provided. So if we click here and we just hit new, we just give our new goal a name. So just put new goal, very original, as you can see. We'll select our desire level for this goal. So I'm just gonna put four, and then we can change this to either not started or in progress. Now, say you loathe emojis and you just don't want them in your template, you can change this out, just click, click the three dots and here you can change the label, you can change the color, you can delete any. To add any new ones, you just start typing. So you can customize that, same with status, you can hit edit property, skip me over. Doesn't matter where I put this, it's in the wrong place. I'll get it one day. You can click here, change the label, change the color, delete as you want and you can add new ones here as well. So we'll click off of that. So we've got our new goal, so I'm gonna open this up and you'll see here it opens up in a side view to make that full view, you just click here. And then I'm going to select our template that I've included. So that will open this up. The template is full width, so it's going to open up into full width. And you'll see here, I've just got the overview. So you would just click in here and start typing. I've got a vision board here and it's just got some prompts to help visualize it as if you're already there come back into our goal. And then we're just gonna fill in these questions. So purpose, why does this goal matter? What does success look like? What are the critical success factors? What are the key performance indicators? How do you plan to achieve this goal? So this is where you would map out those different action steps. And then I have a results section in here as well. So if you achieve the goal, you can come in here and you could check this off and you could put if yes, what were the contributing factors? If not, what were the contributing factors and what are your key takeaways as well. Now with vision goals, there's no sort of time period where you have to achieve them by a set date. But what I like to do is check in on them every year to make sure I still want to achieve this thing. Then every two to three years, I will fill this out because I feel like things are changing so fast and I don't want this to just be like a one day thing. I set the goal and I never come back to it. I want to always be working towards it if I can. So that is our vision goal. So I'm gonna come back all the way out into our goal set in here. And you'll see here, I've got an alternate view. So it's the exact same database. The only difference is I have come over here and I have changed it to a Kanban board view and I've adjusted the properties to show status. And in this Kanban board view, I have grouped it by desire and I've changed it to color column. So it's just a different view of the same 
database. So once I've done that, I will move on to my annual goals and I'll make sure my annual goals are helping me achieve my vision goals. So here I've just got an example. Again, this is just an emoji. You can change this out just by clicking and you could change this out with a checkbox. You can even give it no name if you want as well. And that's just to say you accomplished this or not. We've got our goal, the term here, the target date, the year. And then here I've got two numbers because I want to make this quantifiable if I can. So I'll have my target and then where I'm currently at. And that is going to give me this nice little progress bar here as well. Now, some things it's hard to quantify, like it can either be done or not done. In those cases, I tend to treat it like a percent. So I would put my target as 100% and then my current whatever percent of the way I am towards that goal, I will put in there. So again, to add a new one, you would just hit new, new goal, assign it a term, assign it a date. I'm gonna leave that clear for now. Select the year, target. So we're gonna do this one as 100 and let's just pretend we're 1% of the way there. Then I can open this up. I have some prompts. So again, I could open this up in full view. For now, I'm just gonna do side view, hit enter, and I can go through and I can fill in all of this information for my annual goals. And so you will have access to all of that with today's template. You can go in and fill that out. Here it is the exact same database. All I've done is I've come over, I've changed this to gallery view. I have changed it to show me nothing in the card preview, but I could change this to the page cover and it would give me my little goal here if I've got a cover on it. And then under properties, I'm just showing the goal, the target day and the progress bar. And so that's just giving me a quick overview of where I'm at with my annual goals. And then we have quarterly targets. So we've looked at this multiple times through Vlogmas already. I'm just gonna come in here, hit new, hit new target. So new to one target, I would assign it to myself. I will start with it being on track, change it to quarter one, change it to 2023. And you'll see here, I've got two filters applied. So if I go to filter, that'll disappear. If I click it again, you'll see I've added a filter so that I can just show quarter one, 2023. And I'm only seeing goals for that quarter then. Again, I can open this up hit my quarterly targets template, and I can go ahead and fill this in. Now you'll see here, there's view annual goals. And what we can do is we can pull in our annual goal view. So let me show you how I did that. I'm gonna click here, hit delete. I'm gonna hit enter, forward slash. I'm gonna search linked view of database. Once I find it, I'm going to search for my annual goals. So they're right here, but I could just start typing annual goals that would come up. And you'll see here that now allows me to pull in the view. So I could pull in the table view or I could click in here. I can click this plus icon again, search for the exact same data source and I could pull in uh, the gallery view or I can pull in by term, whatever I want it to be. So let's do the gallery view. And that way I've got my annual goals here so that when I'm filling in these quarterly target prompts to hide this, we just do this hide. When I'm filling in these quarterly target prompts, I can see that they're working towards my annual goals. So that's how you use linked view databases and that can come in really handy. When you're doing those review and planning sessions that we covered in day one to three of Logmas, this is how you're pulling in that data. And if I click on this tab here again and I show the database title, you'll see as there's a little arrow. This is telling us it's a linked view. So it's not the original database, it's just a linked view of the database. And as always, I can apply custom filters or properties. So I'm only seeing what I want to see where I want to see it. So I'd fill in those quarterly prompts for my new quarterly targets. I always do three targets per quarter, three to five, but I tend to stick with three quarterly targets, but I try to make them really meaningful and ensure they are going to have a huge impact on my ability to achieve my annual goals. And then we have our scorecard. Now I've gone over this every day in Vlogmas, so I'll be quick with this one. We've got the months down the side, quarters, years, and then I've got my metrics along here. To change any of the metrics, I click 
in, change the label, change the number format. So here I've got it as number, but if I click in here, I can change this out. If I hit edit property, I can then change the format to dollars or percent, whatever I want to track. And then at the bottom here, I can change it from average to sum, depending on what that metric is. And then here we've got the same database, but I've grouped it by quarter. And you'll see here, it's showing me all years. To change that, I would go to filter, select year, and I'd only want to see 2023. And that way I can see a quarter on quarter comparison for that year alone. And then for year, I can do the same. I can compare 2022 to 2023 to 2024. So I've included that in there for you. Now, the final thing I want to show you with this goal setting process is how you can interlink these various databases. So what we're going to do is click this plus icon next to vision goals. I'm going to search for relation and I want to connect vision goals to my annual goals. And I can see that's in my goal setting page. So it's the right one and I want to show it on my annual goals. I can relabel it, vision goals is fine here. I'm gonna add the relation and you'll see here, I can change this icon if I want. So let me do just a target. And now I can click in here and I can tie my vision goal to my annual goals. So here I can come in here and I can select this one. I can actually select multiple if I want to delete any just click that off. And then if I come down into my annual goals, my vision goals are now connected and those are interlinked and appearing in both places. Again, I can click here, I can change the icon to an eye if I wanted, so it matches. And then we can do the same for our quarterly targets. So we probably don't need to connect our quarterly targets to our vision goals, but we definitely want to tie them to our annual goals. So I'll click here. I'm going to search relation again. Then I will look for quarterly targets. I'll just start typing it in if I don't see it. I'm going to show this on quarterly targets. Annual goals is fine. Add relation. You see that now appears. I'm going to just drag this over, change this icon to a target again. And then now I can connect my annual goals to my quarterly targets. And now you see how you're always working in alignment and driving forwards towards your big vision. We're just reverse engineering the process. And the other thing I do with the annual goals database is I interlink it. I add a relation to my scorecard. So here I've got my scorecard and we'll add this in here. I've got my annual goals. That will appear here. I'm gonna change the icon to some sort of chart. Here we'll go, we'll select this one. And now I can come in here and I can tie it to the month I'm working on that annual goal. So this first one here, say I'm working on that in quarter one, I can come in here and I could search for January. Now you'll see here there's two. The way around that is to come down into your scorecard and rename these January 2022 or rather 2023 since that's right around the corner. And now what you can come up here and you'll be able to see if I search January, I can see which month and year it's assigned to. So you want to put the month and the year when you're filling this out and you can add multiples. So again, if we came back down here and I renamed these February 2023, March 2023, then what I can do is I can come in here and I can search for February, I can search for March. And I'm just showing you this for editing and customizing your own databases in Notion. When you get access to this, it will already have the months and the, all of the years filled out for you. So you don't have to worry about going in and manually doing that yourself. It's just for when you're adding new months when you get to that point. So now everything is connected and our quarterly targets. If you wanted to connect those to your scorecard, you could do that as well. If not, that's up to you. I tend to just stick to my annual goals. And then you'll see here, they're all appearing here. I will usually drag this like this, but you can also come over here to the three dots, hit properties, and you can pull them up this way as well. So I'll do month and then annual goals like that. And you'll see these now appear here. And again, I could change the icon. So let me search for a target and there we have it. Now, the final thing I want to show you is my backend databases. So here is the original databases. All of these other databases that you're seeing here, if I click on the tabs and I show the title, you'll see these are all linked views. So they're not the original databases. They're all stored here, you know, because this one doesn't have that little link to it. And I just like to have them here so that they're safe and it's not easy to delete them. And we can add views of them anywhere we like 
like. So I mentioned adding them to your CEO meetings. To add them anywhere in Notion, all you have to do is do a forward slash, start writing linked view, search for the database you want to add. So if I want to add my scorecard, I'll just select it or I'll type it and select it. And here I can pull in views that I've set up in the original database. So if you're going to create custom views, create them in the original database and that way you can pull them in easily anywhere else. So if I do 2023 20, scorecard, that's going to bring in that view and it's going to be set up for me and I can absolutely customize it. So say I come over here and I say, well, I already know this is my 2023 20, scorecard because there's a filter on it that says 2023. So I don't need to see this column that's taking up space so I'm going to hide it in view it's still there but in this view I don't need to see that so you can absolutely customize and play around with those linked views just be aware that if you delete any column it deletes on all of the databases so you can hide it you can add filters you can change properties and layouts but if you delete anything it's going to delete from every version of that database in your account so to delete this I'm just going to hit delete and that is your goal setting template. I really hope this helps and you find some value in implementing it in your own business. Okay, so we're now set up with goal setting, annual review and planning, quarterly review and planning, and weekly review and planning sessions in Notion. Are you starting to feel more confident and clear about what you want to achieve next year? I'd love to know in the comments, and I'd love to know if you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. You know, one of my big goals for next year is to spend more time with you so that we can learn and grow together on this channel. If that's something that you're into too, make sure that you subscribe, click the bell icon so that you can be notified the next time I release a video. Tomorrow, we're going to be diving into projects and action tasks. And as always, I'll be sharing a free template. So make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter in the description if you want free access to that as well. It means we can follow along and go through the process together. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.